Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happiness today. Uh, the groups, Southeastern groups, have decided to start speaking up. They have decided to come out of their shell of silence or their shell of looking the other way over issues that have been happening. Some hours ago, it was the turn of uh, Mohane Zendibu to talk about um, the issue of sit at home. They also talked about the issue of um, IPOB. Um, other Biafran agitators staying in diaspora in US, in Asia, in America, in Europe to apologize, or better still, they should come down to Nigeria, Southeast in particular, and physically lead the actualization of Biafra. And that the era of cowardice is definitely over. They are taking charge and they want uh, this whole thing to stop. But right now, more things are coming up on the same issue, but this time around, that directly needs to prominent men in South East. A lot is happening in South East, and there's quite a lot of tension going on there. Before we go into the news proper, I would like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on YouTube. Well, Ohanes and Dibo yesterday accused governors and, and senators of the South East Zone of failure to end the sit at home order because of their political interest, warning them not to seek political offices during 2023 general election if they fail to end the exercise. But, um, it also urged the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, to apologize and and ask for forgiveness from Mundibo for their mistakes and naughtiness for the sit at home order without consulting Igbo leaders, noting that the exercise had destroyed the social economic activities in the region. In a statement issued in Abakeleke Ebony State by its Secretary General, Mazi Okechiku Iziguzoro, said no Igbo governor or even senator deserved to seek re-election in 2023 if they lacked the courage and capacity to end activities that had radicalized the Southeast, really ridiculed the Southeast. He called on governors of the Southeast to prefer lasting solutions, lasting solutions to the secession of the indigenous people of Biafra, that's IPOB sit at home directive, since they now blame hoodlums for hijacking the directive adding that it had become obvious it has become obvious that criminals have taken advantage of IPOB and taken advantage of IPOB's miscalculations to unleash terror on the Ndibos. Meanwhile, the Anyoma indigenous of Delta State residents in Lagos have endorsed Isama of Onicha Ubu Chief Michael Deji as the presidential candidate for the state chapter of Apex Igbo Social Cultural Group. They said it is the turn of Igbo indigenous of Delta State to produce the next Ohanese leader, and as such, the stakeholders from Igbo speaking communities have agreed that DG was most suited for the position. Ohanese comprises all Igbo speaking people of Anambra, Imo, Abia, Ebonyi, Delta, Rivers. An Enugu state, leader of the Igbo speaking communities of Delta State, recognized by the Ohanes and Igbo worldwide, Chief Chuks Chukunjindo Smith said, We have the Anyoma people of Delta State, have we, the Anyoma people of Delta State, have un unanimously endorsed DG as our authentic candidate for president of Ohanes and Igbo in Lagos State. He explained that Ndiju in Ijiku. Okay, I'll take that again. He explained that the Njiko Ndianyoma, Njiko Ndianyoma remained the only social cultural organization of Igbo of Delta stock, Delta State stock affiliated to and recognized by Hanese national body and following due process it had adopted DG as the best candidate that would generate quality leadership. DG, an expert in finance, leasing and logistics section sector, is a fellow in Institute of Chartered Corporate Accountant of West Africa and holds an MBA in banking and finance from Lagos State University Lasso. Now this brings an end to that issue. You know, you see uh, what usually a lot of people find very amusing and very annoying is the fact that when it comes to responsibility, no, we are not Igbo. 
when it comes to benefit, you now remember that you are Igbo speaking. It's really not nice. I could still remember during this whole issue of map in, map out of um map in map out of Biafra exit. A lot of people mentioned Delta, some people mentioned the Do, some uh Muslim can mention some part of Middle Belt, uh, mentioned even rivers. I could also remember that uh, the gov present governor of um, River State uh, uh week yes, governor yes so week his excellency denied vehemently that he's not Igbo, he's South South, and there's nothing like uh, the old Eastern region. It is now defunct, doesn't exist. So hence, they should not even mention that issue of that he's Igbo, shouldn't even be seen at all. But right now, as we speak, it has come to the issue of leadership of Hanes in Igbo. We have quickly now remembered that we have uh, a new... Now, looking at what is happening, you can really agree with me that if you are not Igbo, with due respect to everyone involved here, if you're not able, why are you trying to uh, include yourself in the uh, Ohanese and Dibu presidential elections? doesn't speak well. If you're not able, mm -hmm. you're not part of Ohanese. Ohanese is strictly for the Ndibus. It's uh, Now they're agreeing that there's something like Anima, which means, technically speaking, let's call it speed, speed, and let's stop um, hiding behind, behind uh, politically being correct. If Mazina Mekano has said that a part of Delta is part of Igbo, the Igbo-speaking part of Delta, and there's some Igbo-speaking part of Rivers that's also part of Igbo. Now, Rivers is including themselves, saying that, okay, uh, this thing has rotated round in Southeast, now this their turn, the Anyama people, the, it's the turn of Delta State also also have representative or have of a Hanese in Igbo. You know, you keep hearing names like Anyoma. Anyoma, of course, it's just, it sounds so Igbo tech. It sounds it has this Igbo Igbo meaning to it. So why are we, you know, when it's time for issues that have to do with responsibility and all of that? No, 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 no I'm, not, I'm, I'm not Igbo. I'm not Biafra. It's okay. It's understandable. It's not all Igbos. I must say this with uh, with all sense of sincerity and objectivity. Not all Igbos actually want Biafra. You may not like the truth, but it's the truth. There are some persons who benefit it, who like the idea of one Nigeria? You cannot tell somebody who is a business Mongol, whose business is spanned to the north, to the east, to the west, to the south, and you're not telling him that he should go ahead for Biafra. He will tell you, yes, first he's an evil man, but then he's also a Nigerian because his business has to come first. If Biafra is to come, of course, some of his businesses will now become an international thing. Indigenous politics may come into play, and that may downplay his business. So he will do everything he or she can to fight and ensure that Nigeria remains because there are lots of benefits for him and for and so many associates around him so you can agree with me that it's not everybody that buys the idea of um, Biafra just as most governors in Southeast will tell you there's nothing like Biafra it's just a, um, a feeling and a but it really doesn't exist in reality one can understand that so if you uh, the Anyoma people or there's some persons in Delta they say look one yes we are South Easterners uh, we are South Southerners yes uh, there's something there was a different old eastern region yes we have our route traceable to Southeast from the old eastern region yes we have a lot of traces that shows that we share boundary and we have traditional roots with the uh, southeast but no we do not believe in biafra that is understandable we all have freedom of choice we have freedom of association but to say that you because of biafra you are not Igbo or you are not you don't have any affiliate with Igbo and now ohanese presidency is at stake or the, the next presidency is at stake now you're not remembering that actually you're first Igbo and you have affiliates with Ohanese and Dibo. I feel it's not right. And judging with what Ohanese and Dibo is now saying, that look, if you think as a, as a senator or as a, a governor, if you think you get a re-election, if you do not equally stop the South is the um, sit at home order, then you don't qualify, you don't, you don't deserve to be re-elected. You now see that they're really rising up and seeing how they can tackle this issue of insecurity once and for all. Mm, quite commendable. The question is, can they achieve this? Well, a, 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 a journey of a thousand miles, they say, begins with a step. That's what we're going to wrap it up. Let's meet in our conversation. We'll also, take on the standpoint of the APEC Social Cultural Group on what is happening in Southeast, sit at home. Let's interview.